Hi, my name is Tom. Today we're going to be unboxing Modern Cuisine's newest set of books, Modern's Pizza. Now, this latest set of books comprises uh, three volumes and a kitchen manual, totaling about 1,700 pages of only pizza-related content. Uh, this would be the fourth set of books related just to cooking that they've come out with. Their products are typically pretty well packaged, so we have these little corner pieces that always come with their uh, larger volume set. Now found you can use these for either uh, fire starters or uh, dog toys, so they have multi uses. All right. See, we have this nice Ferrari red color uh, compared to Modernist Bread in their uh, newest case for Modernist Cuisine, which says, uh, has been stainless steel. Lots of cardboard packing material. Okay, I believe in this first set here we have the uh, kitchen manual. This has all the recipes from the books uh, condensed just to uh, the text. And it has a uh, particular waterproof material it's used with to uh, so you can take it in the kitchen and spill things on it and not have to worry about uh, damaging the uh, the nicer set. All right. So here's our three major volumes: history and fundamentals, techniques and ingredients, and recipes. Probably the best part of the modern cuisine books are their, uh, is their photography. Um, a lot of time, effort, money is put into coming out with these uh, really high quality pictures. And uh, they come out with the yearly calendar featuring some of these images as well. So that uh, you can look at them all year long when you're tracking your days. So, a little introduction by the authors, and then we're going on to uh, history of pizza. Lots of old photographs. They did an incredible amount of. Uh, Researcher over the last four years and they uh, come out with these uh, These books here uh, one of the cool things is you know here They're talking about Detroit style pizza is they're showing the pans that they use how they were used as parts bins back in the old days inside of car factories and they're able to find a picture to show how they're implemented So just like the other books uh, the first volume will typically just be knowledge and you know, talking about various aspects about the culture of whatever the food topic is. Uh, I know in here they uh, talk quite a bit about 
uh, various countries and their particular styles of pizza. Uh, here they're covering Italy in great detail. I do you know that uh, Portland, which I'm currently in right now, uh, was considered the pizza capital of the U.S. as far as they're concerned, and possibly the world. A lot of it has to do with the great variety and the uh, proximity of the number of pizza places here, and places that do it quite well. Uh, here they touch upon New Haven, uh, visiting there. Um, I know in their recipe book they, they cover uh, many of these different locations and put their own iteration of uh, the various pizzas in there. Now the total weight of this set is about 37 pounds. Uh, I know that modern is Fred. Uh, that was closer to 50. Of course that was 5 volumes and it had something around over four pounds of ink, so I don't think this sets quite as much, but it's it's pretty close to it. So they'll break down uh, kitchen equipment that you should use and uh, all the various components and how they interact with each other. Here's different cutaways of different styles from New York, deep dish, thin crust pizza. They even have a gluten-free pizza dough. How to play cheese. Probably, uh, more in-depth knowledge of every facet of the pizza making than you could ever hope to have, but hey, it's here, so why not take a look? Now we're on the recipes, the best part. I absolutely love how they do these exploded pictures showing how, um, you know, uh, food's made. I know that the inspiration behind this for Nathan Muirvold was the exploded diagrams for car parts. And so he grew up working on cars and wanted to implement this with food. So uh, especially in the uh, first modernist cuisine, you see a lot of examples of this. So, um, this volume alone is only of recipes, of course, with their excellent photography, showcasing how all these different styles are made. We have an epi crust here, that's pretty cool. And they'll do a lot of different experiments. Um, you know, I know one example is that, you know, the outer crust of a Detroit style pizza is known as a Frico. And they made a, a pizza entirely of that. And I was able to visit Modernist Cuisine a few years ago. And they had a lot of different experiments going on, such as testing the uh, strength of mozzarella with a device, um, or measuring the texture of, of several samples. This is kind of cool. We have in a pizza with basically, you know, a variety of ingredients. There's at least 30 of them here. Not everything they do is completely practical, but it is fun, and it's it's great that you know we get to see some of their experiments. This is my favorite at the moment, the Detroit style. I'll be making this later this week. Here we are. That's the Frico slice. <laughs> Not practical by any measure, but it, it's kind of a fun experiment. So there's going to be uh, a lot of time invested in going through all of this. And additionally, let's see what else we have in here. So we have the uh, Modernist Cuisine Collection. This is where you can buy the uh, various prints of uh, some of Nathan's photography. Uh, I've been able to visit the one in Vegas and La Jolla, and they're both really fun.
Oh, here's their other books in here. Well, that's the unboxing of Martin's Pizza. Uh, looking forward to diving deep into this and uh, look forward to more videos coming.